We're now going to look at the zero rule as well as negative exponents. And so the zero rule is a simple rule that says if we have the same number of things on top as we do on bottom, using the quotient rule, this becomes 6 minus 6, which is x to the zero. Well, what is x to the zero? Again, notice we have the exact same number of things on top and on bottom, so everything divides out. And when everything on top and on bottom divides out, we're left with 1. So our rule is anything to the zero is 1, except when a equals 0. This doesn't work for 0 to the 0. 0 to the 0 is instead undefined. Because we could write this as an example. Let's say this was o cubed over 0 cubed over 0 cubed becomes 0 to the 3 minus 3, which is 0 to the 0. But we have a 0 on bottom. We can't divide by 0, so this is undefined. So just as an example, suppose we have negative 5, all in parentheses to the 0. This equals 1, because 0 makes anything that it sees a 1. Now, to counter this, suppose we have negative 5 to the 0 written like this. Notice that now the 0 doesn't see the negative, it only sees the 5. So it only turns the 5 into a 1, and my answer is negative 1. If we don't have the parentheses at all, it behaves as if it only sees what's directly in front of it, so this also comes out as a negative 1. If we have minus 2 times x to the 0, this is the same as minus 2 times 1, because x to the 0 becomes 1, which is negative 2. Again, remember that 0 only applies to what's directly in front of it. Now, sometimes we have more of something on bottom than we do on top, such as z cubed over z to the fifth. If this happens, we can do our subtraction the same way. 3 minus 5 comes out as z to the negative 2. But we don't like a negative 2 power. Really what we want is to recognize the fact that we had 3 on top, and 5 on bottom, so we can take out 1, 2, 3 on, on both sides, leaving a 1 on top and 2 on bottom. So notice that both of these are the same. In fact, we always turn a negative exponent, so wherever it's at, it goes from the top to the bottom, or the bottom to the top. So if we have a to the minus n, this is equal to 1 over a to the n, and 1 over a to the minus n becomes a to the n. So, an example. Suppose we have 3 to the negative fourth. Well, 3 is the same as 3 over 1, and we're going to put parentheses to show that this applies. So we take our 3 over 1 and we turn it upside down. It becomes 1 over 3 to the positive fourth, which is 1 over 3 to the fourth. Notice that negative 4 made the 3 go from the top to the bottom, and now the exponent is positive. Likewise, if I have minus 1 over 3 to the minus 2, then we take our 3 on bottom, and it goes to the top, and it becomes a positive 2, or 3 squared. What if I have 4x to the minus 5? Again, notice the minus 5 only applies to the x, so only the x goes to the bottom. The 4 stays on top, and as soon as the x goes to the bottom, it ends up with a positive power. If we have a fraction, such as 2 thirds to the minus 3, well, whatever's on top goes to the bottom, whatever's on bottom goes to the top, and then we can apply our 3 to it. So this is an introduction to ze the zero rule and to negative exponents.